Hey, Christine Johnson Sewing Friends. So today we're continuing along with our boyfriend jacket sew along and I want to go ahead and explain some construction details um, because everyone this week is going ahead and sewing their boyfriend jackets together. So you are going to go ahead and take several panels of your boyfriend jacket and you're going to be stitching them together. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're working with a woven fabric is you're going to want to go ahead and edge surge the edges of your seam finishes or however you're going to be finishing your seams. And then you want to go ahead and align your center back panels together right here. Let's go ahead and get those babies lined up. And you're going to want to go ahead and stitch these down, okay, um, all along this side. This is the first step, the very first step of assembling your jacket panels. And I'm not going to show this, this to you because I'm going to show you a boyfriend jacket that's already been constructed. But you're going to go ahead and stitch down there 5 8 inch seam allowance and press this open. Now one of our um, uh, lovely members online asked us why the seam in the back just for construction. I want you to take a look at the seam. Do you see how it is slightly curved? If you take a look at the space there and then you take a look down here, it gets a little bit narrower in the middle there. And the reason for that is this jacket is shaped. So when you put on the jacket and you turn sideways, if you had a straight shot straight down from the back of the neck all the way down, you would end up with a lot of visual weight right here. But if you put the jacket against your back, all of a sudden you can see this curve in the small of your back. And this curve in the small of your back makes you look thinner. So that's the reason why we have curve and shaping in our boyfriend jacket. So you're going to go ahead and sew this together. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab our dress form here and I'm going to show you the panels already stitched together on our boyfriend jacket that we have behind us. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, explain to you a little bit about our facing and I'm going to show you a clever in-facing pocket for those of you who are ready to take that step. So let's go ahead and grab our dress form here so that you guys can see what panels we're going to be putting together. Go ahead and adjust this little video right here. So from the front, we've got our front panel here. Now this facing is already stitched down, right? So I'm not gonna be able to show you the inside. But moving towards the back, I'm gonna go ahead and flip our dress form around here. We've got our side panel, the princess panel, right here on the side. And that continues around here to the, this back section here. And here's that center back seam that we sewed. Now one of our members also asked her, she said, hey, I noticed that my facing here seems really wide. Um, seems like it's not going together all that well. And I wanna actually show you what the facing looks like here really quick. Um, let's go ahead and get the laptop out of the way. Let's go ahead and show you the facing. So the facing looks like this when you hold it up, but rest assured, when you get it, on your dress form and your jacket is aligned where it's supposed to go, that facing, when you line up your shoulder seams up here, that facing is gonna flatten right out along the top and back of your jacket, just like that. And you're gonna stitch this down when you're done, so it's gonna be perfect. If I actually get the shoulder seams in exactly the right spot, you can see how that comes together. And there's a shoulder seam right over there on that side right there. So you can see how that facing flattens right out. So don't be alarmed if this looks a little weird because it's going to come together very nicely when your jacket is assembled together. So now the next piece, after you assemble your body panels, you're gonna go ahead and assemble your facing because your facing, this is your facing here that we interfaced, you're gonna assemble this. And when you stitch your facing, the important thing to know about stitching facings on a jacket is that you wanna stitch from the center back on down to the front. And the reason for that is because the fabric will stretch a little different if you stitch it in the opposite direction. If you go from the front all the way up here over the top, all the way around down the other side like this, it'll stretch differently. What you wanna do is start at your center back seam and stitch this way to attach your facing, and then this way to attach your facing. Okay, so those are just a couple of tips in our boyfriend jacket sew along. Now I'm a little behind you in that my boyfriend jacket panels have to be stitched together to go ahead and make it all happen. But I'm going to do the exact same construction details in the sew along that you guys are following the Christine Johnson boyfriend jacket sewing instructions. I'm sewing together my back panel seams now. I'm going to sew together my side panel. I'm going to go sew together my front panel and then my shoulder seams and my back neck. And then once I have the whole jacket assembled and the only thing I need to do is attach this piece here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I do wanna show you, for those of you who have worked on ahead, our clever inseam pocket. Now normally this facing is stitched 
from on, on the uh, inside right here the facing stays, the facing is stitched all the way from very from down here at the bottom all the way around the jacket again starting at the top center back and going down one side and then going down the other but it is stitched down and that's so you don't get any floppy facings I can't stick my hand in here right it's all closed nice and enclosed but I've created on another boyfriend jacket a clever inseam pocket that I want to go ahead and show you and let's see I've done it on this side here have I done it on the other side too or just the one side nope I did on both sides good okay so I'm going to go ahead and turn this boyfriend jacket inside out so I can show you guys how this facing works. I'm going to go ahead and slip it on our dress form on top of our other boyfriend jacket. The boyfriend jacket on the inside is cotton lycra, the boyfriend jacket on the outside is ponte. They're slightly different than one another, they fit a little bit differently. But I want to show you how this comes together. So what I've done with this boyfriend jacket is I have stitched this facing all the way down here. But when I got to here, I left a space open. And the space is the width of my hand. You can see I can stick my hand in here. So the width of your hand may be different than the width of mine. Make it a little bit uh, bigger than the width of your hand so it's comfortable for you to stick your hand in there. Because you can then drop in your credit card and your, oops, I have a little hole in there actually. It isn't stitched all the way down to the bottom. I gotta make sure I do that. Because um, you wouldn't wanna lose your change down the bottom. I think it's stitched down on the other side. Let me see, did I stitch it all the way down or did I leave a hole? Now I left a hole on the other side too. Okay, so make sure you stitch all the way to the bottom on that. Um, just like we've done here, the facing should come all, the stitching should come all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, you wanna make sure you have that stitched all the way to the bottom because you're gonna go ahead and stick your credit card and your ID and uh, some cash in this little pocket. Now let's say you decide you wanna make it like a breast pocket on the inside. You can also like a little bit higher. You can do that too, but remember that you have to be able to get your hand in there and go all the way to the bottom to get your stuff up because your stuff's gonna fall to the bottom. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could actually stitch across here in this section here, but you'll see that stitching on the outside. So it's up to you if you wanna add that as a design detail. You might be able to work it in with a button, say for example, and have a little bit of a higher pocket. But I just did mine at the bottom. It was more convenient and, um, and it was more a little bit more comfortable and clearly I need to stitch that bottom. So if I stick change in there, it's not gonna fall off. But ID, credit card, um, cash, whatever. I call this my hotel bar pocket because you can put your room key in there because um, it's the size of all that. So that's our little clever pocket here. Now, also before you stitch on your stitch down your facings, for those of you at that point, you're gonna to wanna to attach your patch pockets. We'll cover patch pockets in a separate video, so that way you guys can see how they come together because we're doing a, a quick self-lined pocket um, so that our pocket is completely lined and has a nice shape to it, um, very easy to make. And um, we'll show you that in a separate video as well though. So today we're focusing on sewing our bodies panels together and our clever little facing pocket. We have a blog post specifically on the pocket in a facing on our blog at cjpatterns.com blog. You can go ahead and check that out. That is our blog or our um, jacket facing uh, post on our blog, the little hidden pocket in a jacket that's on the blog. You can go ahead and check that out if you want more detailed instructions on how to make that happen. Um, so again, we're gonna be sewing together our body panels on our boyfriend jacket. And those are quite simply back, seam together, center back. Attach your first princess panel here attach the front assembly of the jacket, and then attach the whole facing to the jacket on the inside. Now this facing has already been stitched out, so it's already been turned to the outside. We'll show a separate video on attaching the facing as well, so go ahead and join us for that. That'll be a probably uh, tonight, so that'll go up a little bit later tomorrow, so you guys will be able to see that tomorrow on our uh, continued sew along. Again, it's a sew along, we have the opportunity to all sew together, and make our boyfriend jackets, and many of you have already started this construction process. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment on our video, comment on our Facebook page, comment on our Instagram page, or comment on our blog. We'll go ahead and answer all of these questions um, that you might have. Thanks again.